Hello everybody, I am Sunny, your North Country Knitter. Welcome to my video, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is where I like to share with you things that I am knitting, uh, finished objects, whips, yarn I'm working with. I'm starting to do yarn reviews, um, some unboxings, and if you like those type of videos, please consider sticking around. Um, you can hit the subscribe button down below, also the like button, and thank you. So, uh, like I said, I'm a knitter. I primarily do, I consider them, you know, easy to intermediate knits, and I like to share them with you. So, normally I have patterns that are available down below. Um, I do not have any patterns myself that I do, but sometimes I just kind of wing it. And um, if I ever don't have a pattern posted, that's probably why it might just be a pattern that I winged. And uh, yeah, so today's tea, I'm also doing this as well, sharing with you teas that I'm drinking because I have a lot of tea to get through, is Berry Chamomile by Simple Loose Leaf. I will have their um, link down below. It's kind of the same thing with it's a membership, but you can also just purchase from them. Um, the link below will be one that I can benefit from. I'm not affiliated with them, but it's like you get a certain percentage off and I get a certain percentage off my next month's tea. So um, Simple Loose Leaf Berry Chamomile, which has chamomile, orange peel, hibis hibiscus, raspberry leaves, safflowers, and berry flowers. I haven't tasted it yet. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> that's very good. Definitely needed today because it's like zero degrees outside. Um, not kidding. We had to go outside for a little bit and my hair was still wet and it froze. My hair froze. So, um, today I have a lot of smaller objects to show you. One kind of bigger object, but since they're all kind of quick projects to get through, I thought I would share with you my um, 2021 knitting goals. I did finally sit down and actually write them down. I have avoided looking at other people's goal videos simply because um, I wanted to get my intentions down first before I was influenced with, with other people's goals. Not that I think in being influenced by others is a bad thing. Um, I just knew I had certain things that I wanted to do. These will probably be added to as I watch other people's goal videos. So, um, but I will get to that in a little bit. First, we will start with finished objects. So, da -da -da -da! okay, so I haven't weaved in the ends yet, but this is my knit crate, I believe from July. Um, my knit crate shawl. I blocked it last night and I'm not entirely happy with how it came out blocked. I think some areas were not um, evenly stretched, but it still looks beautiful. Hello. Um, I am in love with this color. The color is simply stunning. Um, I did notice it, um, what's the word when the dye leaks a little bit? That's probably it. I can't think of the word, the, the phrase for it. Um, but I did have some um, dye come out as I washed it before blocking, but that's okay. It just was a little bit, but I'm happy to have this done. I'm happy to show you this too, because I didn't know if I'd be able to show it to you before it went to uh, the school for donation. <sighs> Guys, it is so static in this house because it's so cold. Like everything is sticking to everything. Like, I don't know if you can hear it. It's crazy. It's just so, so staticky. Um, like even my hair is sticking. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So this is called the Sanctuary Shawl. You can get it off of Ravelry that I know of. I don't know if it's available anywhere else. It is a pay for purchase. I will have it linked down below. It came to me with my um, knit crate box. So yeah, still have to weave in the ends, but very happy. Please tell me you can see that. <laughs> like, like, 
Uh, static everywhere. So yes, um, very happy with how that turned out. I know, who was it? You had some of this yarn, this Yuru um, Pima cotton. You were going to make, and you had it in the pink color, and you were going to make a baby sweater out of it, which sounded adorable. So very soft. I think this is the first time I've used Pima cotton. Never really heard of it before. I just heard of like sugars and cre sugar and cream cotton. So pretty happy. All right. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Um, I did purchase, okay, so you know I love making scrubby washcloths um, either for like dishes. I also use the cotton scrubby for making exfoliating washcloths and uh, face exfoliators. And I got the Yarn Bee Scrubology Cotton in El Fresco. I loved these colors. Just so bright and springy and I needed some bright and spring because <laughs> it's so cold so cold and I usually pair mine up with a strand of cotton yarn which I used white in this case and this is how it turned out it's actually a little bit brighter than that I would say I don't have the best lighting right now I don't have my light turned on and to do that I would have to go into my daughter's room and she's sleeping right now so no not doing that sorry <laughs> nothing will make me go in there right now uh, so I did that one. I also paired it with a uh, base exfoliator. There's a little heart embossed on there, which is kind of hard to tell with this scrubby yarn. But And then, where'd you go? Paired it with a white base scrubby. And yes, I know, I still need to weave in all the ends. Those ends. And then I also got one more done in, oh no, I don't know any of the colors in this one. This is peaches and cream. The cotton is peaches and cream from Walmart. And the scrubby yarn is a Red Heart cotton scrubby yarn which I don't know where you can find those anymore. I think Hirschner still has them, but like none of the big stores around here has it anymore. Interestingly enough, Michael's last year like clarenced out all their scrubby yarn. And I was like, oh my God, no, they're getting rid of scrubby yarn, like panic stricken. And now they have some back. So it's in their new colorways, but I thought that was, I was like, oh, okay, we still have it. And what else have I done? All right, you guys. I jumped on that bandwagon. So I do enjoy doing color work. I think it's neat to see it all coming out. These are the Feel the Heat mittens from uh, Marley Bird. It is a free pattern if you go over to her blog. These, these are the medium size. Um, which they're just a tad bit too small on me. I mean, they're tight, they're not small, they're comfortable, I could wear them, but I think I would prefer the large because my thumb is kind of smooshed in there. Like my nail is rubbing up against the top of the mitten. And uh, yeah, so I have two different types of tops going on here. They do a kit, Marley, does it with a Kitchener stitch close. Um, and this is the one, no, this is the one I followed from her pattern, but this is the one I did from Very Pink Knits. So they're two different sizes. Hopefully it's not too noticeable. Um, but yeah, I was pretty happy with how they came out. Uh, this is, I love this yarn uh, from Hobby Lobby. I do not know the color names. Well, I know this is black, brown, white. I don't know what color that one is. <clears throat> and I don't, oh, wait a minute. Do I? I do. I have it up here. 
No, that's not white. That's ivory. Ivory? Let me check. Yep, ivory. So the white is actually ivory. And then that tan color is toasted almond. Now I want almonds. Um, I'm also working on a second pair. This is the woman's large. And hold on. let me see. I just got the thumb, thumb stitches on a piece of waste yarn. There we go. <laughs> Um, I don't think I had the, I finished the other one. Well, I didn't finish it. I still have to do the thumb and weave in the ends, but this one is a little bit more, a little bit more my size. I hope to do some in different colors and start playing a little bit more with color work. It is really fun. It's fun to see the colors, you know, transition and, um, it seems to work up really fast, at least for me, because it's kind of like, all I can think of is like running, where you set a new goal each time you get to where you would originally set your goal. Like, I'm going to run to that signpost, and then you say, I'm going to run to the next light post. And it's kind of the same thing for me doing color work. It's, okay, I'm going to get to the white, and then I'm like, well, I'll just finish the white, and then I'm you know, get through the tan and yeah, maybe that was a long explanation stating absolutely nothing. But <laughs> what I'm basically trying to say is I enjoy doing the color work. It's coming out a lot faster than I thought it would. I'm still only using my right hand to do it. It's very annoying because I know most of the time they have you use two hands to do it and it goes quicker. Not so with me. Um, I know one of the ways to learn is just like sit down and do a blanket where you use only your left hand. So you're doing it, is it continental style or English style where you're using your left hand and everything is quicker and more efficient. <sighs> Someday I'll learn to do it and I'll sit down and I'll make a blanket. Someday. Anyway, so that's all my finished works and works in progress. Um, I don't have anything else going on right now. I do have, um, um, no, that's it. I do have some yarn I was going to show you. And I got this from Hobby Lobby as well, because last week it was 30% off everything. And this color I had to have. And this is Feeling Gradient. It is 590 yards. And it's a lightweight three and you it's 77 acrylic and 23 percent poly made but i was kind of i didn't know originally i thought i'd pair it with black yarn but i don't know how that's gonna look i don't think there's enough black in there to oh cat hair i don't know if there's enough black in there to make it like really look good so i might have to pair it with some gray but hopefully i can work up something with that soon get that back in there and mitten back in there without losing any stitches done yay tea time very good um okay so, knitting goals for 2021. I shared with you all a couple weeks ago where I came on my um, 2020 goals. Overall, not bad. And like I said in that video, these are just kind of like guidelines. I don't feel like I have to complete them. There are some things that I want to complete. So... Yeah, there are some some things I'm definitely going to commit more of my time to this year. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So number one on my list is I want to um, finish 50 preemie hats. Now, my house, 
hospital that I donate them to is still not collecting them at this time, but I'm still going to make them. Uh, I got what, 26 done last year, which was not enough in my book. I mean, it's still a good number and they're still like sitting next to me. Uh, <laughs> But I'd, I'd like to do more than that this year. So 50 is my goal. Number two is to knit a blanket, a full-size blanket. I don't know why. I just want to make a full-size blanket. Probably like a lapkin um, or a full-size blanket, like twin size would be the largest. Definitely not shooting for like a queen-size blanket. No, no, no. No, no, twin size at the largest. Um, I want to do five scarves for donation. Um, I want to do two lap blankets. There is a group at my church that collects lap blankets and um, distributes them. So I want to contribute to that this year when, when we're able to. Um, 12 pairs of socks. This is very ambitious, but I figured I can, I count kids socks in as well as adult size. I should just pair like two kid sizes one, but we'll see. I might do that later on, but yes, 12 pairs of socks. Um, I definitely want to expand my, my sock knitting. I have a lot of sock yarn. I kind of went on a binge of buying sock yarn. Um, and I will share those with you, of course, when I am using them. Got to use them sooner rather than later. I think I counted it up. And now a lot of the yarn that I'm counting in with this tally was actually given to me. I didn't buy it. But I had enough yarn <laughs> to make over like 20 pairs of socks. Um, again, a lot of that was given to me. So... <sighs> I need to start busting my way through that, that sock yarn. And yes, I know it doesn't all have to be used for socks, but I did uh, purchase yarn for the intention of making that yarn into a pair of socks. So that is what I want to use it for. I want to make six shawls and this one counts towards that. So one done already. Yay. Five more to do. <clears throat> I do have one on the needles but I'm still very much considering frogging it because I just don't think it is, it's not turning out the way I want it to. It's downstairs right now. It's using the um, Hobie yarn, that, but it's in the blue and it's just coming out too plain Jane. It needs a little bit more like, like a spine. It needs a spine or something to make it a little bit prettier. Um, it doesn't even have to, I don't even have to have these lace patterns in it. And I can do all garter stitch, but it just needs something to go with it, <clears throat> to go in it. Um, okay, this one is scary. Very, very, very scary. I want to see if I can crochet. Ugh, it's out there. Okay, now that wasn't like an ugh, like that was like, oh my God. I'm announcing that I want to learn to crochet. So I have tried to crochet in the past. Uh, I was still what I would consider an advanced beginner with knitting. So it, I felt like, no, I need to commit more time to knitting and learning more of the like foundational basics of knitting. Is that a term? I hope it is. Before I commit to learning this new skill, but I've seen, I like a lot of crocheted blankets. I think they look gorgeous. They <laughs> apparently work up a lot faster than knitting them. And to knit a blanket, it just seems, it's so daunting. And that's one of the reasons I don't make a lot of them is it's just, it seems to take forever. And I made like, three knit blankets, like throw size, one right after another, after another. And it just kind of burnt me out on blankets. So 
I think it'd be nice to learn to crochet some. Um, very, very basic, basic, basic crochet. Uh, but you know, when I get like the Hershers or the Mary Maxim catalogs and they have the crocheted blankets in there, they all look so pretty. And the, you know, the different things you can do with the blocking. I know a lot of it you can do with knitting as well, but I like the look of the crocheted blanket. So <sighs> this may be the year <laughs> I commit to learning how to crochet, just you know, basic. Um, and the last one is uh, number eight. This one kind of has me laughing because I know Carrie Penny over at um, Happy Crafty Homemaker had also mentioned this one, but I want to read <laughs> more. Um, I have on here read at least two hours a week, which seems very, very small. I listen to a lot of audiobooks. Um, I'm listening to three right now, but I want to actually commit to reading um, more for the past few years. It's basically been, I'm too tired to read a book and stay engaged in it because I can read like half a page and then I'm falling asleep. Um, so I definitely want to commit to more of reading actual books and I need to actually carve time out to do that. So I, I mean, I used to read all the time before kids, like 66 books a year, free, like physical books, not listening to books. And it was a big part of my life. I loved reading, was always at the library, was always getting like, um, the like supporting small, <laughs> small bookstores. Uh, so it's something I really want to pursue again. I, I just love reading. I mean, and, and I need to get back into it more. Like I have it like capitalized, bold exclamation mark, must read two hours a week. But, so those are my goals for 2021. Um, like I've mentioned before, they're just guidelines. I do want to do get. The, I do want to do the 50 preemie hats um, uh, this year. Um, I'm hoping during Lent that I can get at least two done a week, which will uh, help me get there. Um, but yeah. I'm sure this will be added to as I watch other people's goal videos. I'm going to have to go back a little bit <laughs> to find them all. Everyone did them like at the beginning of the month and here I am. It's almost February 1st and I'm finally getting to mine, but that's okay. Well, I'm going to go. I still need to go do a review video for this Diablo Wild Prints from Hobie. I also have an unboxing video that I did yesterday or the day before of the Mary Max and Mystery yarn and y'all I got some good stuff. I said y'all I'm not from the south but I have friends who got me into the habit. <laughs> um, I got some fun stuff in here so definitely I can't wait to pick up some of that yarn as soon as I'm done these mittens and that's all I have. So thank you all for watching. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, any patterns I will have linked down below, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as the simple loose leaf. It's my personal link. If you don't want to use it, that's fine. I don't, it, it's not going to hurt my feelings. You can just type in simple loose leaf tea and it takes you right there. Um, and yeah, so check out, <clears throat> Stick around for my, uh, there we go, for my um, review video on this Diablo Wild Prince. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.